Hi, I'm Mason, here to congratulate you on being the proud owner of a fresh and squeezed second generation multi-fruit juicer. I'm here at the birthplace of this amazing machine, the JPT Corporation plant in Lakeland, Florida, to provide a little advice on operating your juicer. First, review your operator's manual and using it as a guide, make sure all components are in place and secured. The Fresh and Squeeze second generation multi-fruit juicer is designed to provide years of dependable service. It uses a unique patented design to extract maximum juice from the fruit with the least amount of peel oil. The machine is capable of juicing all types of citrus, including oranges, lemons, limes, grapefruit, and tangerines. No melons, however. Before plugging in the juicer, do the following. One, locate the juicer on a level surface to prevent fruit feeding problems. Two, lock both front casters by pushing down with your foot. To unlock, push again with your foot. Three, open the front door latch on the right side to check that the waste container is in place. Put a trash bag over the container for easier peel disposal. Four, check the juicing components by sliding the reservoir out to remove from the brackets. Twist and pull the juice nozzle off. Remove the splash shield by lifting up off the brackets. Then tilt the top outward as it is removed. Five, install splash shield on bracket to cover juicing components. Wet O-ring on juice nozzle before pushing and turning to insert into manifold. Six, set reservoir lid on tank with nozzle hole facing opposite direction of fill valve. Slide reservoir assembly onto brackets attached to shell. Fill nozzle facing out. Seven, remove any foreign objects found in the hopper. Install side access panel and close hopper lid. Check that caster wheels are locked and all panels secured. Close front door and turn door latch. And eight, make sure the floor area around the juicer is clean and free of obstructions and water. Now, you may safely plug in your juicer. A word of caution before you hit the switch. Damage to the juicer may result if it is operated for more than a minute without fruit, or if the wrong gauge extension cord is used. Time to get up and running. To turn on the juicer, just push the on off button next to the touch screen and the settings button to select speed and display. Have your fruit ready and inspected. Fruit should be of good quality with no damage. Ensure that fruit is the right size by using the size template. The fruit should have been washed and sanitized prior to juicing. After opening the hopper cover, you may now dump up the two cartons of fruit into the hopper. Fruit may be divided between the carton and carton lid for easier lifting. Your hopper load of fruit is now ready to be turned into juice. Start the machine by pressing the start button on the touch screen. When the hopper is empty, the juicer may be turned off with the tap of the touchscreen button. The juicer will stop in the cleaning position with the cups separated. Now, using the stirrer located on the side panel, stir the juice in the reservoir to mix the pulp into the juice. Place your juice container onto the door shelf under the reservoir and open the valve. As if by magic, you have fresh juice of your chosen variety. Remember to clean the unit after the final juicing of the day. Be sure to pull the electric plug, then move the juicer to the cleanup area. Open the front door and remove the reservoir nozzle and splash shield. Brush all loose peels into the waste container, then empty the container. Start the cleaning process by using a soft towel or sponge to wipe the windows. 
cork clean is a good cleaning agent. Do not use abrasive pads such as steel wool or scotch pads as they will scratch the covers and windows. Cork clean is recommended for cleaning the juicing area and its components. Cork clean is a low foaming equipment cleaner especially formulated for cleaning food processing equipment and is USDA accepted. Read the cork clean label for dilution instructions. Use the application kit for correct measurements applying to the juicer. Remove the juicing components, hold the upper cup, and pull out the pin just above it. Then reinsert the pin in the upper cup. Using the provided spanner tool, loosen the strainer tube, the spanner screw, and the two spanner nuts on either side of the lower cup. Then remove the lower cup. Be very careful when working near the cutter since it is sharp. Install the red protective cap on the cutter to prevent injury and damage to the cutter. Now grasp the juice manifold and orifice tube firmly and remove the entire juicing components assembly. Next, remove the strainer tube from inside the juice manifold by turning counterclockwise and sliding out. If the orifice tube is difficult to remove from the strainer tube, invert the orifice into the lower arm. Push down on the strainer tube to remove and pull out the orifice tube. Now, rinse off the juicing components. Use the pointed end of the rod to clean between the cup fingers and the upper cup cutter. Using the blunt end of the same rod, clean out the orifice tube. Scrub the juicing components using a brush, towel, or sponge and not an abrasive pad. Clean the strainer tube with a hard spray from a hose. Move the orifice tube back and forth in the strainer tube and brush with round brush for better results. Soak the strainer tube overnight in cork clean for best results. After soaking thoroughly, rinse the strainer tube before using. Make sure that all strainer tube holes are clean. All stainless steel components can be soaked overnight. Do not soak the cups for extended periods of time. All components should be rinsed after soaking. If possible, hose down the juicing area and cover. If the location prohibits, wash down the exposed juicing area and windows with a sponge or spray applicator. Spray cleaning solution on the doors, panels, and hopper. Allow to stand for 10 minutes before lightly rinsing thoroughly with water. To reassemble the juicing components, thread the strainer tube into the juice manifold. Insert the orifice tube into the bottom of the strainer tube. Mount the juice manifold assembly onto the locating pins with the orifice tube notch, engaging the lower drive. Install spanner screw through manifold mounting bracket and turn until finger tight. The manifold needs to be set flush against the mounting bracket. Remove the red protective cap from the cutter. Install the lower cup and tighten the spanner nuts, screw, and strainer tube with the spanner wrench, starting from the top to bottom. Now, remove the pin from the stem hole and install the upper cup by pushing the pin into the stem hole. Install the splash shield then wet the O-ring on the juice nozzle and insert through the splash shield onto the manifold. Then turn the nozzle until the outlet is pointed down. We have some additional cleaning and maintenance procedures to cover. For example, open the hopper cover and access side panel. Lightly spray all exposed areas. The juicer is water resistant but do not use any cleaners in the drive area. The cups, hopper, and other parts may acquire a buildup of fruit wax over time. To remove this wax buildup, soak the cups for five minutes in a wax removal solution, then rinse thoroughly. Wipe the hopper and other parts with a cloth sprayed with the wax removal solution to remove wax buildup, then rinse thoroughly. 
Do not lubricate any bearing, rod end, or shaft. Follow preventative maintenance service as recommended in your manual. After every juice run, check the cutter and knives for sharpness. If dull, sharpen or replace. Please refer to your manual for specific instructions on sharpening the cutter. If damage or rolled over, replace the cutter. To remove the cutter, disassemble the juicing components. Here's that red cap again. Install it on the cutter. Remove the screw and the cutter should lift right out. If it's stuck, lightly tap the cutter from inside the juice manifold with bottom of cleaning brush. To install the cutter, align the arrow on the cutter with the arrow on the manifold. Press the cutter into place. Tighten the screw, being careful not to over tighten. Check the orifice tube for damage and replace the tube when pieces are missing from the top end or if score marks are 1 32nd of an inch or deeper or appear along the length of the tube. Check for loose or missing nuts and bolts. Tighten and replace nuts and bolts as necessary. Always use JBT recommended spare and replacement parts. Your operator and service manuals have troubleshooting sections should you experience any problems. Always follow clean and maintenance schedules provided in your operator's manual to prevent equipment damage. Do not attempt to use this juicer until you fully understand its operation. If you experience any problems you cannot solve after consulting the operator's manual or this video, please contact the service provider. Okay, now we're really finished and you're prepared for countless hours of successful operation. So crank it up and juice away.